So imagine you could take any picture. Okay. And generate tons of variations from that oh, picture. Oh, wow. You can even do face swapping. Really? It's uh, pretty incredible. And this is all with Flux. Yeah, all with Flux. Wow. And the cool thing is, yeah. it's free and open source. That's fantastic. So no limitations right. like some of the other AI generators out there. Okay, great. Hey, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at something uh, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We're going to be uh, taking a look at a video by Joker AI. Great. It's a YouTube channel. So this update is called Flux Redux. Okay. And uh, it lets you generate, yeah. like I said, uh, tons of similar images okay. from one single input picture. So like the variations feature in Midjourney. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the video lays out three workflows okay. that you can use with this update. All right. And uh, we're going to start with workflow one. Okay. Which is a uh, basic image variation. Oh. Right. So the video walks you through everything cool. from downloading the models to installing them. Okay. And it's super easy to follow. Oh, good. So you'll need two models to get started. Okay. The SG Clip version yeah. and the Flux One Redux model. Okay. And uh, the SG Clip version that helps the AI understand yeah. what's in the image. Oh. And then the Flux One Redux model is what actually yeah. creates the variations. Got it. So once you have those installed, yeah. uh, you'll grab the workflow file, mm -hmm. which is super helpful. Yeah, that sounds really useful. So then the really cool part is mm -hmm. you can control a lot of the settings. Oh. Like you can control how many variations you want. Okay. They show some amazing results, and it captures, like, all the little details. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's uh, pretty remarkable how realistic it is. Yeah. Uh, of course, there's some uh, occasional quirks, like any AI model. Mm -hmm. But the overall quality is really, really impressive. Awesome. But let's talk about the fun stuff. All right. So this workflow can handle yeah. more than just realistic images. Oh, okay. They have an example where they use this, uh, Okay. well, they call it a watermelon head character. What? I know it's pretty funny. Okay. It's uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. A watermelon for a head. Yeah, and the AI like nailed it. Ah! So you can really let your imagination run wild <laughs> with this. So it's not just limited to like photo realism. No, not at all. Okay. You can get as creative as you want. That's cool. One thing they did find with this version of the workflow. Okay. Is that prompts don't really have that big of an impact. Really. On the results. Huh. So they tried changing up the prompts. Okay. But the output pretty much stayed the same. Interesting. Yeah, so I guess in this version, it's more about yeah. the image itself well, okay. and less about the prompt. Gotcha. But now here's where things get really cool. Okay. Remember those videos on creating LoRa models for face swapping? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Well, you can actually integrate your own LoRa models wow. into this workflow. No way. Yeah. So you can basically take somebody's face yeah. and put it onto a completely different picture. Wow. And it looks really, really good. Really? Yeah. it's uh, That's incredible. Like, That's magic. So you're saying I could take my face and put it on like a yeah. celebrity's body? Exactly. That's wild. It's pretty amazing. So how does that work? So basically you just yeah. uh, you know create your LoRa model, mm -hmm. and then there's a specific node okay. in the workflow where you can import it. Got it. And then, boom, you can start swapping faces. That's awesome. And then another cool thing they added okay. was an image crop node. What does that do? So sometimes when you're generating images, yeah. parts of the image can get cut off. Right. So this node basically prevents that. Oh, that's handy. Yeah. It's uh, it's super helpful. Yeah. That would be really annoying. Especially if you're working on something. Yeah. And then like half of it's missing. Exactly. So they've really thought of everything. It seems like it. To make this as user-friendly as possible. Yeah. That's really cool. So are you ready to hear about workflows two and three? Yeah. Bring it on. Because things are about to get even more interesting. I can't wait. Yeah. Workflow two is where those prompts start to oh, yeah. really come into play. Okay. So you can actually use them. Yeah. To adjust like the style and lighting. Oh wow! Of the images. So you can take like a photo of your dog. Yeah. And make it look like a Renaissance painting or something. Exactly. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. It gives you a lot more creative control. Yeah. And then workflow three. Okay. This is where it gets really wild. Right. What is it? You can actually combine multiple images what? into one output image. Oh wow! So you can like blend elements okay. from different pictures so it's like digital collage exactly oh, it's yeah. like supercharged yeah and the cool thing is yeah. you can still like add your own face okay to any of these workflows so i could be in a renaissance painting with my dog yeah exactly it's hilarious or you could have like a family portrait yeah where everyone has watermelon heads oh my gosh 
I know. That's amazing. Yeah. You guys have to check out this video. Yeah, them please. Just to see these workflows in action. Mm -hmm. The visuals are incredible. It's one thing to hear about it, yeah. but it's another to actually see it. And honestly, this is just scratching the surface oh, of what know. Joker AI covers on their channel. They have so much great content. Yeah, if you want to stay up to date mm -hmm. on all the latest AI tools, yeah, especially for Flux and Comfy UI. Yeah, definitely check out their channel. Their tutorials are amazing. They're so easy to follow. Yeah, and they're really in-depth. Even if you're not like a tech person, yeah. you can still understand it. Yeah, it's like having a personal guide. Right. Walking you through everything. It's really cool. Yeah. And that's what's so exciting about this field right now. Mm -hmm. Like the tools are becoming so much more powerful. Yeah. And user friendly. Exactly. So anyone can really jump in and start creating. That's the best part. It feels like we're on the verge of like yeah. a creative revolution. It really does. With these tools at your fingertips. What are you going to create? What are you going to make? Think about the images you've always wanted to make. Yeah. You can do it now. Like the ideas that you have, yeah. you can finally bring them to life. Don't be afraid to experiment. Yeah. Push the boundaries. Yeah. See what you can do. Do it! Just do it! And have fun. Most importantly, have fun. Uh-huh. So we've included links oh, yeah. to the Joker AI video mm -hmm. and their channel in the description. Awesome. So you can go check it out. Yeah. And start experimenting yourself. It's like having a magic wand for <laughs> image generation. Yeah, like you right. can just create whatever you want. Yeah, it's uh, there's no limits. It's amazing. Yeah. So what are you waiting for? Go create something awesome. Yeah, go experiment. Just do it. Yeah. See what you can make. Have fun with it. Yeah, and remember, mm -hmm. like there's yeah. no mm -hmm. right or wrong way. Yeah. To use these tools. Yeah. You know? Explore. It's all about yeah. finding what works for you. Exactly. And having fun. Yeah. So it's a journey. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for listening. On this deep dive. Into the world of AI. Into the world of AI image generation. Yeah. Until next time. Keep creating.